Fucked up. African people don't like black people. You know, they treat us like shit. Hey yo, people sorry, stop sorry. People sleep on Aerie Spears. People slap he slapped on. I don't know why he don't have a deal with Netflix yet. They talk down to us, they think they're better than us. And I don't understand because we from the same tribe kinda. Of. But they like white people though, they treat y'all like family. As soon as y'all come around, they get excited. Excuse me, Mr. White Man. Thank you for bringing us here. We love you. Yay, the white man. As soon as they see us, they get an attitude. Hey, how you doing? This nigga. <laughs> we don't like the black man in America. Motherfucker, you don't work, you don't do shit. We don't like you, you black motherfucker. Like, who are you calling black motherfucker? I'm brown, you midnight. Who the fuck are you calling black? Like, nigga, if you stood up against a building, you'd look like an alley. Who the fuck are you calling black? This shit is unjust. African men don't understand why when they come to America they have a hard time getting American pussy. You can't be that aggressive with American women, especially black women. You gotta know how to talk, you gotta come correct. Motherfuckers in Africa is used to having their way. They got 15 wives and shit. And African women are very obedient. They tell their women what to do. It's not even an issue. Bitch, when they come home, you... <laughs> I don't know why they do that, <laughs> You, you better you better clean this shit from the floor. Okay? Maybe the club's stalking women out here. You can't even see them. Maybe as black as my jacket. You just see the yellow of their eyes from a distance, looking like Congo in the bush. As soon as you go buy your drink, they jump out the shadows and scare the shit out of you. Bitch, what is your name? Come here. Don't run from me. You're going to be my wife. Monaya, 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 hunters. It takes them. Last night, the epic disaster film Twister opened to big box office and some controversy. The Reverend Jesse Jackson has called for a boycott of the movie, claiming that not enough black people in the film are killed by tornadoes. <laughs> not funny. He's got baptized in a black church. I don't care what anybody tell me. Gary Owens is not funny to me. My opinion, he's not that funny to me. Wasn't prepared for that. I mean, I just, I, I prefer white shirts myself. Black shirts just takes too long for me. You got to have your day free. You can't make no plans going to a black church. You plan going to a football game, you ain't going to make it. And you might not make Monday Night Football while you're bullshitting. Black shirts are ridiculous. Black church. I, I didn't know it was going to take that long. You know? Like, I didn't eat breakfast that morning. I thought I was going to eat about an hour. You know? oh my God, I almost died of my nutrition that day. Like for Sally Struthers to pop up, you know? I was, I was sitting in the church, man. I was like, oh, why is this taking so long? You know? Was, you know? I figured out having the third service, why it was taking so long, because, um, you know, when you, when you go to church with white people, man, we don't say nothing, you know? We shut up and we listen, you know? If somebody tries to talk while our preacher's talking, we tell them, shh. Zip it focus, okay? One more song, we're gone. <laughs> I mean, the first time I went to black church, um, I, I didn't know, I, I didn't know that when black people agree what the service is about, they don't wait. They get up right there that they agree. I know it's okay to yell out. I'm sitting there. I don't know why I got in the whole church. I'm getting upset with all the black people in the pews around me, you know? I thought they were being disrespectful to the preacher. I don't kid yell out. I'm just sitting there. Preach on it! Are you serious? He's gonna talk while he's talking? Yeah, that's really disrespectful. Once you zip it, focus. It's 1.30! I'm ready to go home! Talk about it! Are you with him? What? You're allowed to talk? Are you serious? I'm gonna say something. Okay, watch, I'm gonna say something. Who do you know? <laughs> I heard you come on, it's 4 dirty! Another song? Why is she singing Rihanna? That has nothing to do with church! It's 6 o'clock! You guys have a step team, are you serious?
don't know. They can win that. It's midnight! It's Monday! I'm late for work! <laughs> Takes forever, man. So I've been seeing this girl recently, uh, it's a black girl, right? She lives up in Harlem, you know? Gone out like three, four times, you know? First time we hung out, we hung out in like the village area in New York, you know, which is sort of like a racially mixed area. So shit was cool, you know what I mean? Second time we hung out was more like Midtown, you know? Then the third time, she called me at like 3.30 in the morning, and she wanted me to come up to her apartment, right? So it's 3.30 in the morning, she lives in Harlem, I look how I look, so it's a fucking situation. Boy, don't do it. Yeah, because you know the deal, yeah. right? Basically, a white dude feels comfortable up to about like 98, 99th Street, you know what I'm saying? The second the streets start getting to like triple digits, like 100, 101st Street, start getting like a little asthma, I'm like, oh, fuck, it's starting to get a little high up here. Can you feel that little tightness in your chest? Can you feel that? 106th Street, you're like leaning on shit like, dude, where'd all the cabs go? How come there's no taxis up here? Dude, what's a bodega? I don't know what that is. Let's get the fuck out of here. So I'm praying to God she's going to tell me to take the subway, get off at like 105th Street, 103rd, you know, which is like the first stop in Harlem where I can still look over my shoulder and see like all the white people like disappearing over the horizon, you know? And she goes, no man, you want to get in the Uptown 2-3 train, you want to get off at 125th Street. I'm like, yeah, fuck, 125th Street. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's like right in the middle of everything. I'm going to be surrounded on all four sides, I can't fucking do this. At this point, I'm really trying to hide like the bitchy tone that's starting to creep into my voice, you know? And I'm trying to ask for really specific directions for when I get up there, because I want to know exactly where I'm going. So she starts naming the streets I have to go down, and every other street up there is named after like a black leader, you know? She's like, make a left on Anna Clayton, take a right on Frederick Douglass. I'm like, ah, fuck Anna Clayton. <laughs> Because I'm thinking I can't do this, right? I'm like, I can't do this, but my dick's going, no, come on, man, we can do this, all right? Just relax. Pull yourself together and get on the goddamn train, right? So as always, I listen to my dick. Oh, yeah, I get on the train. By the time I get up there, it's like 5 or 4 in the morning, right? I'm staying on, like, Malcolm X and, like, Danny Glover or some shit, right? see her apartment building, but there's like five or six black dudes standing right on the corner, right where I want to walk by. So I'm like, fuck! <laughs> Thought I was on like some reality show at that point, like some sort of like white guy survivor. He was ridiculous. <laughs> so, Sorry, I thought I was here thunder and lightning. Listen, I'm trying to be a punk or a pussy or whatever, but I don't like lightning. I'll take thunder, but I don't like lightning. Sorry, I had to listen. So I'm thinking, I gotta walk right by these guys, right? You know what's funny? I think that they were actually more surprised to see me than I was scared, you know? And I was really, really scared, you know? But I'm also really, really white, you know? Like, shockingly Caucasian. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if you're not ready for me, I can, like, surprise you. No, especially if you live up there. You've probably seen a white person for hours. Possibly days, so when I show up, it's almost like magical. Like a leprechaun came out of nowhere, you know? I feel like I should have like a little pot of gold, like a rainbow behind me. Top of the moon until you locked it. I'm gonna dance my way past him. But it's been going all right, you know? Once I get in her apartment, I'm fine, you know? I relax, sit down, you know, watch a hip hop countdown. <laughs> Pretend like I know the groups, you know what I mean? It's just getting there that's a fucking pain in the ass. But you know, I don't get mad at it, because I figure, you know, black dudes gotta go through the same shit though, right? When you go out to the suburbs, go fuck a white girl. Right? Just that same awful feeling. 
and just leaving your people behind, you know, just less and less of you as you're fucking driving out there. Probably start off lean and, you know, fucking cool. 20 minutes in, you're driving like 10 and 2 of the rings. I'm like, dude, I don't like this shit. I don't like this shit at all. There's too much grass. I don't see any rims. This is fucked up. None of the windows are tinted. I can clearly see white people in every car. This is fucked up. I just want to say I'm not trying to say that if you're white, you can't complain. Right. I'm just saying that if you're black, you get to complain more. Right, right. Because <laughs> you can't. There you go. Uh, don't, don't tell the band that. Fat? Yeah. Because you can't, you get this right. You can't take people's like the historical context away from them. Right. Everybody wants us to. Like white people are always like, come on, it wasn't us. Like they want black people to forget everything. <laughs> like every year, white people add a hundred years to how long ago slavery was. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard educated white people say slavery was four hundred ah, years shit. ago. And no, it very wasn't. What do you say? I always say it. Say slavery was 400 years ago. <laughs> no, it very wasn't. <laughs> it was 140 years ago. That's two 70 year old ladies living and dying back to back. <laughs> That's how recently <laughs> slavery was. Ago. That's it. And it's not like slavery ended and then everything has been amazing. <laughs> Man, I like the school. Oh, glad that so. Oh, yeah, it just <laughs> ended like a clean <laughs> where you don't have to wipe. Just. <laughs> it's just been. Parades and presents ever since. You gotta, you gotta remember that if you meet a black person, they have gray hair. They remember a time they weren't allowed to use a certain toilet. So give them a little, you know, time to be cranky. And by the way, white people have our own thing that we stuff that we went sure, through sure. that that hurt us that we have to cope with. Like when they took our slaves away. That was really hard. For us. <laughs> so it's pretty even. Yeah, so, it's, so it's even. Yeah. It's even. But I didn't always know that was a black thing. It took me a while to figure that out. I learned, I learned that shit in New York. I was in New York City. Dave Chappelle, my favorite. Now, I was hanging out with a friend of mine. He's a white guy. You know, we, just, you know, we were lost in the city. You know, we were smoking a joint. Now, I don't know if it was a coincidence that we were lost and high and shit, but... <laughs> my white buddy, he was smoking a joint. Either. Dave, Dave, it's the goddamn cops. I don't care how high you are, you drunk or whatever. Once you're a black man and you hear cops, boy, you sober, you sober up. You sober up. I'm gonna ask him for directions. Oh, excuse me. It was too late. He was walking over there. This man was high as shit. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Touching him at you. Excuse me. <laughs> Need some information. Uh, start confessing things he shouldn't confess. I'm a little high. Ah, uh, you going to jail? Well, you know he white. All I want to know, which way is Third Street? The cop was like, hey, take it easy. You're on 3rd Street. <laughs> you better be careful. Go ahead and move it. Move it. That's all that happened. That's the end of the story. <laughs> now, I know that's not amazing to some of you, but you ask one of these black fellows, that shit is amazing. Fucking <laughs> I'm saying a black man would never dream of talking to the police high. That's a waste of weed. <laughs> I mean, I'd be scared to talk to the police when I'm sleeping. I'd fuck around and get the wrong idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That nigga was on PCP, Johnson. I had to use necessary force. You saw him. No, no, no paperwork. Just, just sprinkle some crap on him. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Okay. This was cool. This was cool. You know, I wish they had more black people um, making more jokes. Not because it's black or white, because 
Chris Rock. I've seen some Chris Rock. Um, some more Dave Chappelle. Some Kevin. No, I don't think I've seen Kevin Hart. But there are a lot of black people who would have known what it is, so they'd make more funnier jokes. You know, they make it a lot better. You know, but can't complain. It was cool. It was cool. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys are new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe, come out, like good stuff down below in the comment section. Alright, you guys can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and all that good stuff. Alright, if you guys want to, I'll ask that you guys want to contact with me. Keep in, contact, keep in touch with your boy, you know. You can do all that stuff. But, with that being said, hope you guys be safe, be happy. Until we meet again, remember the world is yours. Peace.